Welcome back. So we're going to solve for the wave functions of a particle living in an infinite potential well, which extends from x equal to 0 to x is equal to L. The potential energy is even and it's centered at x is equal to L over 2. Note that the potential energy function V of x is infinite in the region to the left of the well, which is less than x is equal to 0, and it's also infinite in the region to the right of the well, x is greater than L. But it's zero, the potential energy is zero, inside the well between x is equal to zero and x is equal to L. Note also, though I'll explain it uh, in detail soon, that in the regions where the potential energy is infinite, the wave function psi sub b of x is zero. And this basically means that the wave function is non-zero inside the well. If you're interested in the significance of having an even potential, then I refer you to my video where I talk about the parity of the Hamiltonian. Now I did say I wouldn't be solving the time-independent Schrodinger equation, the solution to which is given here in front of you, and the general solution is given as linear combination of cosines and sines. Note there are two ways of defining the constant k squared, and I've done it by 2m outside of e minus v over h bar to be squared. The thing is that this solution here is for an arbitrary particle in an arbitrary system which means we must apply the boundary conditions for our particular setup. So we must come up with some sort of physical restraints or constraints on the wave function associated with this particular infinite potential well. So the boundary conditions are as follows. We know for physical reasons that we cannot have infinite energy. And this seems to occur in the region where x is greater than L and x is less than zero. And this is because the potential energy in these regions is infinite. So that can be said mathematically with these statements here. And that gives us our boundary conditions. We say that in the region where x is less than or equal to zero or greater than or equal to L, the wave function must be zero because otherwise it would have infinite energy, which is physically meaningless. So within the well, we can rewrite our constant k squared as twice me over h bar to be squared. In the next section, I'll apply the boundary conditions and we'll actually calculate the wave function of our particle in the infinite potential well.